Let's make something challenging, I said. It will be fun, I said. Now, so much fun. Mustard Peace. Welcome to my channel. My name is Attila and this is Mustard Peace. So today I would like to continue with this mini series that I started last week the turned and sculptured style and today I would like to try to make a vase or a vase that looks like it's made of fabric. It's pretty much Gary Stevens he made similar stuff and I really like his work and uh, you will see if I can get close to that style. Let's get to it. Recently I have realized I really like working with stabilized wood and I still have one more rotten log in my shop. So we are going to start work with stabilizing that piece of wood but I am not going to show you every single step of that process because I already have a video, a complete video uploaded on YouTube how to do that and to be honest it is not very exciting to watch and this way we can save some time. Here we go, it's not bad. I don't think it will stay that purple here. Here it's going to be much whiter. This stays purple. So if you want to see how I make these pours without mixing the two color, link is in the description. There is a separate video on it, just check that out. All right, let's start working, then I can talk a little bit more. So many of you liked my previous work and some of you sent me messages saying this is what you would like to try one day and uh, it made me thinking about my attitude for this whole thing. So basically what I do here every time when I enter the workshop I make something that is outside my comfort zone. So basically Every time I enter the workshop, I already decided in my head it's going to be difficult, it's going to be scary and it's going to suck. So basically, after a while you just get used to it. So every time when I am in the workshop, I know what I can expect. So if you think it is easy and it is not scary for me to try new things and just grab the big carbide wheel and use it on a product that I already send it up to 800 grit then you are mistaken so that is a say in Hungary it looks like I just shook it out of my little finger but <laughs> it's not the video editing might uh, suggest you it was easy for me but most of the time it is hard basically not much can go wrong except you might mess up the material that you work with other than that i don't understand why don't you just try it now why would you wait i mean you might not be able to complete it first time but if you keep practicing 
you will get there and sometimes I have that too for example for this piece I have no idea how it's going to turn out it might not be great okay let me explain what's going on because you might not understand how I get this incredible wood grain every time I work with epoxy so okay the wood that I use is naturally have these darker brown spots in it and these white spots in it but how I get these dark spots is basically because the wood was rotten I stabilized it and this is where the resin soak in I added these colors all right now I am going to draw on some kind of random design and it's fair to say I am not really good at random I would be much better with symmetrical that's why my previous work was really good but today it's all about outside of my comfort zone and that is random is outside of my comfort zone so then we can start carving To make quick progress with the carving first I'm going to use this one it's a carbide wheel and then I'm going to use the smaller stuff the Proxon long neck angle grinder carbide wheel as well So now I start to use the smaller angle grinder to refine the shape and this is the point when I messed it up. This is the point when I started to curve the edges in and that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. It should have stayed like a V shape with a flat top instead of me curving it in. and. The only reason I am uploading this video because I want to show you it is all right to mess it up sometimes. Alright, let's hollow it out. Well, to be honest, I can't go much deeper than this because this wall already thin. Okay, that will be much more difficult to hollow out than I thought it would be because the wall is thin at some places so pretty much cannot be turned it has to be carved 
so i am not going to record it i am going to use this angle grinder and it's probably going to take ages so i will get back to you when i am finished Well, what I am doing right now, that's pretty much ruined the whole thing. So I am making these finger-like structures that curve in and it just doesn't fit the design. So I am going to fix those later, but right now I'm not even realizing it. That's a really bad idea, but it is a really bad idea. I don't like the top, I really don't like the top, I should fix it, but I only have a couple of hours left before this video goes up, I don't think I can put locker on the inside, so I am going to fix it, but I can only put oil inside. Mustard piece. Here we go guys, thank you for watching.